Hi, I'm Heath Hoffpower, Vice President Hanko Boats, and today I'm out here test running our 2696 SCFB. That is the model code of this boat. The model code stands for 26 foot long, 96 inches wide at the bottom. SCFB stands for side console flat barge. Starting at the front, the boat measures 26 foot long from the front of the boat to the top of the transom across the top. It's 96 inches wide at the bottom. It has a beam, the widest measurement across the top of 102 inches. The side height is 29 inches, 29 inch side. All quarter inch bottom, 3 16 sides. All the shell top decking is also 3 16 and it is a diamond plate or tread plate. Moving forward here, I'm just gonna start at the front and walk back. This, this hull has a 2,000 pound capacity Stella crane, which has the power rotation and the winch. The boom is operated manually. By pulling a pin, you can extend it. It's on a heavy duty base where the braces go down into the hull. It's very stable, very safe. The remote control is detachable has a socket here, you can detach the remote, you can actually work it from the console. I just have it laying right here for demonstration purposes. Moving back, we have the three inch rubber, the heavy duty rubber that goes all the way around the perimeter and ends at the transom. Tie up cleats. Barges are built with compartments. So we have the forward compartment, center compartment, and aft compartment. Going back to the crane and kind of talking about how the crane is installed and hooked up in this particular boat. The crane has two large batteries, two 12 volt batteries hooked in parallel in this compartment here. The motor charges the batteries when you're running, has an isolated lead on the batteries, charging the motor when you're running. The boat also has a built in three bank battery charger. So there's three ways to charge it. You can plug in shore power, charge your crane batteries, when you're running, you get capacity back on your batteries. And this particular customer will have a Honda EU2000 suitcase generator where you can plug into the battery charger as well. So he's pretty much covered and cranes don't operate the whole time. So just kind of explaining that. What you're looking at where I'm standing here, this is access to the forward collision bulkhead, which is sealed off. There is drain holes inside, which stay plugged. Okay, you have access to the center. This is the mid compartment. As you can see in here, we have our two battery racks and we have our heavy duty number two wire, which runs up with bulkhead watertight penetrations. It's also dry storage. Any water that gets in here, there's two drain pipes that drain it out so it doesn't pull over. And we have our safety latches on every hatch. The deck I'm standing on is 19 feet from here all the way to the front of the side console. And you have a solid eight foot on top workspace. Everything's 316, including the hatches. Turn around facing me. We have handrails. These two handrails right here in the front are removable safety handrails for working. Customer does have the option to pull it off if they have big gear and whatnot. This is our 30 inch wide side console we call it side console when it's moved to the side even though it's built like a center console style we have a large bench seat with storage and a cushion to carry passengers moving back here this is a 30 gallon fuel tank everything's above deck only thing below deck on this hull is going to be the front batteries and the riggings that come through a tube and come up so you don't have to worry about sinking the boat Removable driver's seat, collapsible top. This top folds back, we even have clips so the customer can bungee strap it when they're um, underway. And um, we kind of set everything up where you don't have to do additional work to the boat. So storage, fuel tank, 
This is our battery box slash storage where we have the charger built in, the crank battery, the charger plug, and you have a little extra room. Fuel filters mounted on the outside. So 26 foot from the top of the transom, then this is our gill bracket. This comes out 20 inches, and we have our heavy duty motor guard. We also have a folding ladder in case somebody may fall off the boat. They have a good entry to come back in. That's always important for safety. Moving to the console, it's pretty basic on accessories. Four gang panel, hydraulic steering system, which is the C-Star with the knob. We have navigation lights on the console, stern light on top the top, which you can't see, fuel gauge, tachometer with the monitor system. This is a cable engine, a 150 Suzuki key switch, USB accessory socket, horn. We have a shelf under the console and the console is all um, 316 heavy duty as well. Talking about the performance of the boat, this particular hull runs 41 miles an hour. It's not made to go fast, it's designed to work. Um, what's unique about it is all the working deck space. So this kind of shows you a perspective. You have a lot of room. This crane has the ability to pick something up, lay it on the deck. Um, it's pretty much up to the customer, whatever their jobs are. The draft, being a flat barge, is only five inches. So it has a five inch draft like it sits now. So you can pull up in shallow water just like we're in right now on the bank of a river. That's a pretty basic walkthrough. From here, we're going to go take it out take a little test run, you know, show you some video how flat barge runs. And uh, if you have any other questions, wait to the end of the video. I list all the specs and details. It'll probably answer your questions or you're more than welcome to give us a shout. We'll help you out any way we can. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit.